Greetings one and all and welcome back to another video here with your host Andrew. Today you're going to be joining me for an ink exploration of this ink here, which is the Pelican Edelstein Golden Barrel. So without further ado, let's roll the titles and crack on with this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So before we get on to the main content of this very sparkly shimmering ink from Pelican, I just wanted to highlight the fact that we have now started on the Fountain Pens UK Facebook group, a wonderful 14 nights of fountain pens. So what does that actually entail? If you not watched last week's video, I did give a, a little bit of a brief explanation, but if you're new to the channel or you've just um, started watching from today, 14 Notes of Phantom Pens is a community-led uh, sort of Zoom call which is happening on the Phantom Pens UK Facebook group which features incredible talents such as Lucas Street who's an incredible digital and phantom pen artist. We've got uh, Ruth Bolton who I'm really looking forward to watching who is going to be doing some Arushi demonstrations or talking about Arushi. Uh, one of the two. Um, and then we've got Salvatore Matrone from Leonardo fame, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. Now, last night we did kick off with Ben Walsh from Gravitas Pens, and he did a superb, superb demonstration of turning a concrete polymer pen on a lathe. Uh, absolutely mesmerizing to watch. And he also demonstrated the use of his laser engraver, which was brilliant. And there is a special prize which can be won, but only if you're part of the Phantom Pens UK Facebook group. It is a one of one on a, what was it, a Gravitas Sentry in copper, I believe, and it features the Great Wave um, with uh, some beautiful detailings on there. So do go and check out that um, video. It will be on my um, channel at some stage. Uh, Jim, who was hosting the calls, is an incredible doctor who works uh, for Plymouth NHS and he is very busy, but he also runs pretty much the Phantom Pens UK Facebook group, so he's got his plate full. But anyway, I did say to him that I would uh, take some of that burden off him and I would host the, the videos on my site. So do stay and uh, try and check out those videos at some stage. Now, on to the ink itself. This ink is absolutely beautiful. This is the Pelican Ink of the Year, pretty much. And this is Edelstein, and this is the Golden Barrel. So what we're gonna be doing today, we've got gonna be loading this into a Pelican M200 Golden Swirls. We're gonna do a bit of an ink exploration, and then I'll share some of my thoughts at the end of the video. Now, this video won't be too long today, uh, just because Christmas, and I've got a lot of stuff to do, so, I'm going to be just doing one of my uh, little circles today with uh, flowers, but it should be nice and relaxing nonetheless. Um, over the coming weeks, I will be doing more content and more ink explorations, but I have also got a few pens on order, which may sort of intertwine themselves in between some of those ink explorations. I've got a Gravitas, uh, ent not gra sorry, Gravitas pocket pen uh, coming, which is in the Skittles finish, and I've also got a Twisby Swipe coming as well. So got a couple of little um, pens to sort of spice things up over the Christmas period. So now on to the content for today. So I would invite you to sit back, watch and enjoy.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with me. I hope you enjoy today's content. As ever, I really enjoy drawing it. It was something a little bit different to what I've normally done, although it carries on the same theme with the cherry blossoms. Uh, I just thought I would go half and half today just to give um, the ink a little bit of contrast and also give it some fine line of detail as well, just to give a bit of clarity to it. Uh, I would love to use phantom pen ink over the top of it, but I just don't think it would work. Um, so fine liners are sometimes a necessary evil. Um, I don't like waste, as you quite well know, but there is no denying that fine liners can give you um, a really versatile finish to a piece of artwork. Anyway, now onto the actual ink itself. This ink really is just absolutely superb. It's well behaved, it doesn't clog, unlike some other uh, shim uh, shimmering inks out there. And the, the particles are just absolutely glorious. I will be posting the picture on my Instagram feed, which I shall put a link up in the description uh, below, so you can go and check that out. And I will try and do some natural light shots of this as well, because I think that is where this shimmering ink really actually shines. Um, yeah, this really is just an absolutely superb ink, and there's nothing I can say that is particularly bad about it. It doesn't clog your pen up. I've, I've certainly left it in a pen for about a couple of weeks and it's been absolutely fine. I wouldn't probably want to leave it much longer than that, but yeah, you know, it, it cleans out perfectly fine. Um, no issues whatsoever. And unlike some other inks where like some particles can get left behind and you end up having like some shimmer in whatever you put in next, I haven't experienced that with this ink. So yes, Pelican, if this is a sign of things to come, I think we're all in for a treat. And that really leaves it for today. The only thing I've got left to say is stay safe and 